hey don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also tap the bell icon to get continuous updates on forthcoming videos hello guys i'm dr edmund fernandez today i would like to talk to you about why community medicine is the sexiest profession of the 21st century it's the most authoritative branch of medicine which humankind has ever witnessed before. It's a matter of special privilege and honor to serve communities and bring out a generational change forever. So then why do I call it the sexiest profession? There are two types of people who take community medicine today. The first kind are the doctors who don't get any other branch of medicine, so they opt for community medicine. And the other kind are those who want community medicine only as the first discipline or choice in medicine. Back in MBBS, um, it's one of the most underrated, hated branch among all MBBS students across the country and I suppose around the world as well. But why is that happening? You talk about sanitation, you talk about environment, you talk about flies and mosquitoes, you don't take the MBBS students out in the field, they don't have exposure, they've never even interacted with the Ministry of Health, they, they don't even know where the United Nations offices are, and they don't work with NGOs, the, the spirit of volunteering is pretty poor in our country. So how do you really expect these guys to be motivated for MD in community medicine. I mean, that, that's like a big challenge. What would we have to do then? Think about it. One doctor in a normal branch of medicine treats one patient at a time, whereas a social physician can influence the lives of thousands at a time. What's our population on earth today? Seven billion? You think treating one patient at a time is really going to help? No. And as, as the cities are becoming increasingly urbanized, you have more pharmacies than doctors available now. What sort of change can you then bring? Think about it. You have children dying every day because of preventable hunger. You have mothers dying because of politics of motherhood. Disasters destroy health systems. What has taken 60 years to build goes in six minutes like this. That's where community health matters. That's why community medicine is important. Just think about it, you change thousand people at a time, you change their lives, and those thousand people would remember you forever. You would live in their memories forever. But, this necessarily means that you have to come out of your comfort zone. You can't be like, hey, I would like to work 9 to 5 and then do drastic changes. That's not going to happen. I get a lot of uh, email requests. I get a lot of CVs where people are like, hey, I would like to work in Mumbai or Delhi or Bangalore. That's not where you do community medicine or public health. Real change needs to happen everywhere. It can't just be like select cities, select focuses, select priorities. That's not happening that way. Take up the branch if you're somebody who likes a kick, who likes challenges, who's really wanting to make that change. Only then community medicine matters. It's only then that you can bring out real change. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also tap the bell icon to get continuous updates on forthcoming videos.